Greetings, fellow travelers. Today we will trek around a loop that is San Diego Zoo's urban jungle. Located just past the Australian outback, we will get up close viewings of giraffes, endangered one-horned rhinos, flamingos, and cheetahs. Urban Jungle is also home to an interactive zone where the Animals in Action program takes place. The largest exhibit in Urban Jungle is home to Maasai giraffes, which share this habitat with smaller Samarine gazelles. Here we meet Saba, Nikki, Harriet, and Domi Bella. Low feeding stations line the front of this exhibit so guests can watch the giraffes eat. In the middle, higher feeders dangle acacia branches. Calves can walk within an hour of birth. When they get a little older, they naturally form a group called a crash, a type of kindergarten, where they develop physical and social skills through play under the watchful eye of a designated guardian, usually one of the mothers or grandmothers. While the mothers move about feeding, grooming, and socializing, the calves remain clustered together. The youngsters explore their surroundings, taking frequent breaks to check in with their mother for nursing sessions or to munch on hay or grain pellets. This gazelle species is native to the Horn of Africa. Across from the giraffes, we get another view into the Greater One Horn Rhino exhibit. Here we learn that San Diego Zoo Global provides support and funding for Indian rhino conservation efforts in India, Nepal, and Sumatra. One of its conservation partners, the International Rhino Foundation, is working to increase the Greater One Horn Rhino's population in India and Nepal to 3,000. More than 60 of these rhinos have been born at the zoo's other conservation facility, the San Diego Zoo Safari Park, since 1975. One of these calves is fifth generation, the first such baby born in any zoo or wildlife park. On the same side as the giraffe exhibit, we come across a shared habitat for female Grant's zebra Zari and female miniature Mediterranean donkey Sophia. The largest of the hornbill species, the southern ground hornbill, has one of the slowest reproductive rates in the bird kingdom. During a two-year study in the mid-1970s, only six chicks were born to 55 birds, meaning once every 6.3 years a group will successfully reproduce. Ground hornbills are the only birds in the hornbill family which do not seal the entrance of their nest when eggs are laid. These nests are created in crevices such as large holes in tree trunks. Two eggs are laid in early summer. The chicks will hatch between 3 to 14 days apart, and only one will generally survive. Just past the zebra and donkey exhibit, we come across the flamingo habitat. There are six species of flamingos. Four of them can be found in the Americas, and two from Africa, Asia, and Europe. Though flamingos are endangered, a few species are threatened, and this is caused by habitat loss, poaching for feathers and eggs, as well as people disturbing their colonies, which causes eggs and chicks to be abandoned. Up the path, we catch a glimpse of the resident red kangaroo. Near the Animals in Action area, we can spot a kookaburra. The Animals in Action experience is a one-hour program that runs $89 and up. Here, you'll have an interactive experience as animals are brought out for up-close views. Expert wildlife behavior specialists will also take you behind the scenes to learn more about some of San Diego Zoo's animal ambassadors. In this program, you'll learn about how San Diego Zoo is helping to save species here and around the world, as well as listen to stories about each animal you will meet. Some of these animals you will meet are unique to this experience. The last exhibit in urban jungles home to South African cheetahs. Cheetahs are found primarily in the eastern and southern ranges of Africa, south of the Sahara Desert. 
There are small populations in North Africa and Iran. These cats are neither solitary nor social, but a little of both. Females are generally solitary, except when they have young. Related males, usually brothers, live in small groups called coalitions. Some males, however, are solitary. Cheetahs hunt alone, and once they hunt down their prey, they must eat quickly, as other predators and scavengers can drive them away. Cheetahs aren't strong enough to hide or guard their catch, and must hunt more often than other big cats as they expend more energy. Cheetahs are the only cats that, while sprinting, can turn in midair to follow their prey. They live about 12 years in the wild and up to 17 years in expert care. And this will conclude our trek through San Diego Zoo's urban jungle. I would love to hear your thoughts about this area. Thanks for joining me. This is Brad, and I'll see you where our adventures take us next. Until next time, safe travels, everyone.